Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. We have here the German transport aircraft in 148 scale, it's Gotha Go uh, 244B2. So we have here the new version of this aircraft with an engines as you can see and it will be quite an interesting thing to check because here we have the final shape of this release and it should be already available just like that in the Modelimax web shop. So, nothing will change if you will order it from this model shop, you will get exactly the same contents as what you will see in this video, and the kit number is 48224. Here is comparison with my hand, we have quite nice box art here, it's a flying aircraft in a flight. Uh, then here we have also the uh, history note and some information about the kit, it's written that here we have 266 parts, and the wingspan will be 513 millimeters. so do not underestimate this kit, it should be quite long and it will take some let's say space here we also have two marking options for this release they are somewhat similar but of course the aircraft numbers are different and the box is sealed with the tape so I'm going to cut through it right now and then we will start checking the plastic sprues but in the meantime I can also remind you that we reviewed the previous versions you can find them as well on our YouTube channel and they were quite interesting because they feature a lot of things for the interior and exterior so you definitely build a interesting I would say uh, project in a popular 148 scale and basically even the out of the box build should look great so what i'm doing right now is trying to open the box because it's a bit of a tight fitment and here we have this uh, white box with the plastic spruce inside as you can see everything is packed into resealable plastic bags so it should be quite easy and quick to open just give me a moment actually there are two plastic bags i guess this is because of the new version today and the top plastic bag should pack the new parts for today's version so we are going to start with the sprue d and here we have the various parts for the uh, wing mechanization as far as you can see and also some of the fairings for the engine probably but overall uh, it looks quite nice all the parts are molded nicely i don't see any defects or possible problems especially for this scale it will be quite important note that some of the elements are assembled out of two house so pay attention to that it will be uh, somewhat tricky to get the smooth connection but at least we have the guiding pins which will help you with overall alignment and if you wonder how the interior let's say <laughs> structure interior cage will be assembled uh, here we have the separate struts which should be connected inside and this is really great because some models uh, or actually some model manufacturers they omit this structure they try to mold it in whereas it should be somewhat separate from the fuselage panels and here ICM did a really great work but of course it will take some time to get all of this thin struts together and also to somehow carefully separate them and clean them from the uh, connecting points next we continue with those parts here we have the landing gear elements maybe I can zoom in a bit closer so that you can see what we are talking about here the landing gear wheels or wheel here should be assembled out of two house so maybe we will see some resin aftermarket but for now nothing comes to my mind, I was checking the available, let's say, upgrades and there are none for now. Next we continue with these two plastic sprues with engine parts, so I will leave only one because they are absolutely identical here and you can notice that these engine parts look good for out of the box build in my opinion this is more than enough and it's really cool that both engines are supplied in a, let's say full form as you can see both cylinders and they should be glued out of two house by the way so pay attention to that and maybe it might be worth to uh, replicate some wiring on this but it's already on you whether you would have the necessary references for such upgrade let's say for such modification next we continue with the wing parts and also here we have the tail panels so as you can see we have nice uh, fabric surface imitation here it should benefit from the um, pre-shading so definitely play with this weathering method or painting method if you prefer because otherwise uh, the structure might be lost and look plain so it's definitely worth uh, bringing it out with uh, the special methods let's say next I'm opening another plastic bag so just give me a moment here we have the second portion of the parts 
And we are going to start with this sprue, it's a sprue C. Here we have the tail booms, also we have the uh, main, let's say, fuselage section portions or panels which will be assembled together as well. Due to the boxer structure, such design is somewhat expected I would say, but again, also boxy structure will require the careful alignment so that you get everything in the proper spot without any extra difficulties. Next there are Creo parts which are packed into a separate plastic bag so I will open them right now. And here are the R. So those parts will be usually used for the canopy and I guess this aircraft will not be an exclusion. I'm not sure if we actually get the masks included here. So this is something to check later. But first of all, we are going to check this thing. So here we have the engine gondolas. And again, propellers are also here. And this is specific only for today's version. You will not get it in the uh, previous versions. So that's why it is something new. And each gondola, of course, should be assembled out of two halves. We have the guiding pins to help with alignment. So do not worry, the design is well thought through and you shouldn't have any possible issues here. Next we continue with interior parts. So as you can see they are supplied on two frames and I will zoom in a bit so that you can see here we have the um, seats and also main landing gear wheels. For the main landing gear wheels there should be already upgrade available so that might be a worthy upgrade and in 148 scale it will be noticeable. That's why I recommend to now uh, consider spending money on it and the last but not the least is this plastic sprue so here we have to zoom out a bit as you can see again these are uh, fuselage panels for the frontal section we have the wing mechanization and the wing parts itself and if I flip them over again inside we get the guiding elements for the fuselage we also have some interior elements promoted so definitely a nice quality and for this scale this is more than enough features uh, to be replicated in the model and for the decals so decals are hidden in the assembly manual and here I have a small question because well overall printing quality looks good here you can see them we also have some decals for the cockpit but these symbols look strange this is the first time I see something like that from the ICM so if you are let's say knowledgeable in the history of this symbol feel free to write if it should be like that and note also that the swastika is included it should be assembled out of separate symbols Next, we continue with assembly manual. So this one is printed as a large color printed brochure. I will close the lenses so that you won't be blinded by the white color. And here it is. Let's zoom out even more. Okay, so on the first page we have short history note and technical specifications. Next we continue with the parts map. And note that here we do not get any parts left over. On the next pages we have few parts left unused because they are not uh, being installed on this version. Also you have to drill some holes in the fuselage panels. As you can see all interior parts except where noted they are uh, separately installed I guess. But here you can see also the inner structure being assembled. We also assembled these infantry seats. Then we continue with more of the interior parts being assembled together. And this is something you will not be able to avoid because it is necessary to assemble the fuselage panels around. So quite an interesting design but uh, from what I heard it is also quite sturdy because this boxy structure requires some you know, reinforcement I would say. Here we continue with closing the fuselage finally and then we start installing more of the clear parts for the canopy and also working on the wing parts. Here we also as you can see assemble the engine gondolas. Next we continue by installing the wings uh, together. So as you can see they are held in place on this uh, plastic spar. Might be worth also involving some metal part here because otherwise you might end up with the uh, slightly sagged wings. Next we continue with the assembly options for the tail section. You can open it or close it and obviously for the in-flight version it will have to be closed. Then you assemble engine. This is something you will have to repeat twice because we have the twin engine here and then we continue with the landing gear and here you assemble the wing mechanization and the tail surfaces uh, propeller 
And then we have the masking template for the clear parts. This is really cool because there are a lot of clear sections and it will be a bit tricky to cut out all of these rectangles. Next is the marking option from 1942. And here is another one from 1942 as well. So as I said, they are somewhat similar, but it might be worth also playing with some what if versions. I would do such thing with Gotha. I think it might be a cool thing to replicate. So overall we get an interesting model in 148 scale, it should be already available, so if you would like to get it, go to Modelimex website. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion, so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video review as usual, thank you for joining me today, and stay tuned for more videos, bye!